Take three. <laughs> Hi, I'm Will Venus. Welcome to my autistic YouTube channel. So today I want to talk about autistic masking. So let's get into it. But before we do, make sure you're subscribed and you've got your notifications on. So what does autistic masking mean? Now, I'm going to try and tell this as informatively and as casually as I can because I'm not a teacher and I'm certainly no expert, although being an expert, that's debatable because an expert is just someone who is constantly learning. Tangents, yes, one of my autistic traits, which lets me segue nicely into what autistic masking is. Autistic masking is a bit like turning off all of your autistic traits and putting on this facade that you're neurotypical when you really don't need to. So in essence it's a bit like being an actor without the security of a script although some actors do do improv but well, you know actors mainly at the best of times shall we say they have a script but a neurodiverse person does not have a script so what the neurodiverse person does I, me, I'm very experienced in masking, although I'm unpicking it now. Um, what I would usually do is to try and blend in with the crowd so to deflect all attention from me as possible because I just do not like attention, which is somewhat ironic since I'm on YouTube and trying to garner as much attention as possible. Although I do do this in the comfort of my own home, so no one's watching. Yeah, so in essence, hiding all of your autistic beauty. I thought we could take a little bit of a look as to why some people on the spectrum may do this. Now, in my opinion and in my experience and in a little bit of the research that I've done, this kind of thing stems from childhood because it's based on things like negative reinforcement, fear and trauma. Now, the trauma side of it being that when an autistic child because you're born autistic, don't believe anything anyone else tells you, you're born autistic. When the autistic traits of a child comes out, predominantly, although it's getting a little bit better now, but predominantly the parent, guardian, carer, whomever it is that looked after you, might get a little bit embarrassed by those traits. But that is on them, not the autistic person. So when you're growing up, you have that negative reinforcement of, okay, I'm doing something wrong, I look really out of place. What can I do that will help me mimic what everyone else does? And that's what autistic masking is. So say if a child has tics, likes to play with things, has um, echolalia, uh, what, you know, whatever the autistic traits are, all of those are dampened down. And yeah, hiding that, that lovely autisticness inventing words here. Which, a child doing that and then of course children grow up into adolescents, adults, old people. Although there's a big bit in between. Whatever that bit is, tell me in the comments. I can't think of the word right now. And so yeah, that person inevitably ends up like a carbon copy of everyone else when they don't need to do that. Which really bugs me because anything that strips the individuality and uniqueness from a person, that really upsets me because it's perfectly natural to be autistic. It's perfectly natural to have all these traits if you have them. Some people have them, some people don't. Some people have them a little bit more acutely. Some There's no two autistic people that are exactly the same. And who wants to live their life as a duplicate of someone else? I don't understand that. Although, that brings me to my next point. Some autistic people might like to mimic maybe a character that they like or someone that's in their real life that they like because they feel that they're not a good enough person. They might do it for that reason as well. But, and as I will keep saying, probably until I draw my last breath, which hopefully shouldn't be for a very long time, there is no problem with the autistic person. It is the world around them that has a problem because the world is not designed for neurodiverse people. We are making progress, but it's nowhere near as not uh, it's nowhere near as enough progress as we need. Because you know, whomever you are, wherever you're from, 
whatever your background is, whatever your walk of life is, everyone wants to be accepted, don't they? Everyone wants to be accepted. Everyone wants to feel loved, wanted, needed, valued. They want to connect with their peers and they want to do as well as possible that they can in life. Then of course there is the experience of school. Comment below if you're autistic and how your school experience went. Mine's awful. Although comment if you're not autistic, whoever you are, comment comment away. Uh, my experience of school was awful. Uh, I'm okay now though. I seem to be a, quite a well-rounded human being. But you know what kids can be like. Kids are cruel. Yeah? If a child sees another child that may be struggling with something or maybe if they're different, they will pick up on that and bring full focus to that. And so that child will then try to deflect, like I said before. And so bullying at school, bullying at school, horrendous. That stays with someone for their whole life. It certainly stayed with me in my experience. And also kids, adults, Arguably, the brain tends to focus on the negatives and not the positives in life. It's just, it's just a natural reaction that the brain has, unfortunately. Rather than celebrating the positive, but we have to remain in the positive. So getting on to the more adult side of things. No, not what you're thinking. I mean when you're diagnosed late in life, like I was. I was diagnosed last year. Which was quite... Unexpected. If you want to hear about my diagnosis process, you can watch the video, which I'll try and link somewhere up here. Or you can go down the list of my videos and watch all the rest of them, please. It's kind of the same with adults as well, except adult might be in fear of being judged for whatever their traits are, so they put on that mask. And they want to get on with peers and make friends, so they put on that mask to be as normal, quote unquote, as possible. So that they can fit in, so that they belong, so that they can progress in life. And the reason that we do this is because the world is such... I mean, it can be a cruel and unsafe place, so... To feel as safe as possible, some people like to mask. Or perhaps it could be... You need to tweak your personality and traits somehow because you want to progress in your career. And it might be by an employer that isn't wholly accepting of a neurodiverse person. Again, this needs to change. The world needs to change. So now that I've briefly touched on why children and, well more so, why adults mask, I thought I would put in my opinion and the general consensus of why people on the spectrum should not mask. I think when you're free to be precisely who you are and what you are, it lessens the likelihood of anxiety, depression, stress, because you've not got the constant thought of, okay, I'm going to this situation or I'm going to that place. I need to be totally focused on masking. All of that just goes so that you're left with a more calmer existence. And you don't need to portray that character all the time, which is, believe me, Exhausting. It's absolutely exhausting. Imagine playing a character your entire life. It's exhausting. So you're going to have more energy and you can put those energies into what you want to do in life. What you want to be in life. And you've got more energy for yourself to spend time on yourself. Spend time doing things that you enjoy. Because if you're going to be masking all the time and act, can, you know, acting, you're going to be exhausted. So you'll have energy to do things that you enjoy on your own or with people. I like to do things on my own. Uh, I love time on my own. But ah, tangents. See, you see that artistic trait coming out there. And also, it allows you to be honest with yourself. Because what's life if you're not living it honestly? I mean, I know that we can embellish things at times, but. Yeah, it's best to live a life of honesty, I think. I I think, I think, I think. I think that was a combination of I think and I feel. I think. I feel. <laughs> and finally, and I think this is my most important point as to why people on the spectrum shouldn't mask. You get to be your 100% authentic, vibrant, kind, empathic self. 
because there's only one of you so just go out there and shine and you know if people take a dislike to your kind well-meaning thoughtful empathic self try not to take it personally it's on them that's work that they need to do that is on them not you and i know it's really difficult especially when you're autistic to try and not take things really personally but it's just the way things go sometimes and I think if you're able to find the right people that uplift you and celebrate you and who are your cheerleaders then you'll have absolutely nothing to worry about and if you don't have those kind of people in your life find them find your tribe I found mines I found the people that celebrate me I found the people that I like to celebrate so yeah find your tribe if you want to not everyone wants to but I feel if you find your tribe, you can have a more enriched life as an autistic person. As like a kind of footnote, if you like, I just thought I'd take a moment to explain why I personally feel masking all my life has been damaging for me. This isn't a pity party, by the way. I'm just using this as an example because I can only speak partially for other people and wholly for myself. Uh, if, like me, you've been diagnosed later on in life, when, or if and when, you, you come to that moment of when you're diagnosed and you have masked all your life, there's going to be a lot of, why on earth did I do that? When you think back to the you know past moments and things and you think, why on earth did I do that? Why could I not just be my authentic self? Why could I not just be who I am. So yeah, I've sat for this past year picking over all those moments and I feel, I mean there's not a lot of things that I regret in life but I do regret that when all I really needed to do in life was just be me. Well I hope you have found this video informative and interesting and engaging. Uh, if you have, tap that like button, that would be a massive support to me and if you would like to see similar content to this every single week hopefully there are times each week when I don't have the executive function each time to upload every Monday I do have two other channels so I'm very busy and I've got a career blah, blah, blah. tangents but um, if you like this kind of content do subscribe and tell your friends about this new channel as well I would love to see new names here and if you are subscribing like I said at the the start of this video turn your notifications to all so that you don't miss any of my uploads and yeah comment below are you an autistic masker do you know anyone that's been a masker i'd be really interested to read those experiences like genuinely i'd love to hear about other people's experiences well thank you so much for choosing to spend some time here it is deeply appreciated and thanks to the people that have already subscribed take care keep being authentic Keep being you. Keep shining. I'll see you soon.